Welcome to Business Connection. I'm Liz Spencer. Hey, I have a, a summer delight, a summer treat that we all look forward to at Summer Place Theater. I have Ted Waltmeyer with me. We do all look forward to the Summer Place Theater, but I don't think we all know the history of the Summer Place Theater. Tell me a little bit about it, Ted. Well, Summer Place got started in 1966 as an extension of a theater program at North Central College. Um, for several years, our facility was a pavilion mm -hmm. on the campus of North Central. Um, they needed the land to build a dorm, so we relocated to Naperville Central High School Auditorium okay. <laughs> and affiliated with the Naperville Park District. And uh, aside from a couple of years when the school was under construction and we were nomads, mm -hmm. um, we're back at, at Naperville Central and really happy to be presenting three shows this year. Well, that's exciting. You've had a lot of uh, famous alumni from Summer Place Theater. Tell me about a couple. Well, I'll tell you about the one that got fired from Summer Place. Ooh, even better. Um, <laughs> John Belushi was once cast in one of our shows, but um, he was not quite as disciplined as the director hmm. wanted, so Imagine he that. was asked to leave. But um, we're very proud of people that have graced our stage. Local actress Aline Robertson, who's a nine-time hmm. Jefferson Award winner, um, frequently up at Marriott's Lincolnshire Theater uh, and has toured nationally in Annie, um, was on our stage back in 1977 mm -hmm. doing Damn Yankees and the Sound of Music. Um, Joe Tokar has recently toured in Les Miserables, um, understudying Jean Valjean and playing the role several times. Um, and currently, Lucia Spina, who was R.L. Donza in Man of La Mancha, mm -hmm. is on Broadway in Kinky Boots, <laughs> which tried out here in Chicago, and that show was nominated for 12 Tonys. So um, we are really proud that yeah. we can recognize talent and um, showcase it on the ground floor. Right, I was gonna say, you gave them a stage, a start. I mean, you must be so proud. Tell me a little bit about the, how you get involved as part of Summer Place Theater, whether you're, who are the actors? Are they people who are uh, aspiring to be to Broadway or are they just someone who some enjoys it? Some people may have those kind of aspirations, but some people like to do something in the summer that um, you've got a goal of mm -hmm. working towards a uh, performance and you've got a social group to be part of. You mentioned to me that um, you've got three shows, four shows coming up this summer. Actually, three shows. shows? Okay. We start out in June with The Man Who Came to Dinner, which is a classic Moss Hart and George S. Kaufman comedy from the 30s that employs a big cast for a regular play. Um, so we've gotten a diverse age group. Um, well, and how important is it for um, with community theater to have these programs or productions that have a lot of cast because I'm sure you've got a lot of need. I mean, I think well, a lot of people try out for this and want to part. Well, large cast sells more tickets. <laughs> well, that's but true. Uh, again, the great thing about community theater is you can cast at age appropriate and make sure that if you've got you know people in their teens, you have people in their teens that come and try it out. Um, we just completed auditions for our second show, Legally Blonde, mm -hmm. which is um, in late June and then early July. And then finally, at the end of uh, July and early August, we're doing Oklahoma. Wow, that's one of my favorites. It's a great show, Oklahoma. Well, it's its 70th anniversary. It opened on Broadway in 1943, 70 years ago, and really was a forerunner for how musical theater has evolved. It was the first show that really integrated songs tailored for characters, plots that were somewhat realistic, and dancing that contributed to the story. Now, with Summer Place, The Man Who Came to Dinner is, is a comedy, but the, the other two are musicals. That's correct. So you, um, well, that's ambitious. Not only do you want to, are you going to cast from the community some actors, but then we have to sing and dance too? Wow. Right. We've hired musical directors and choreographers and 
um, teams that will help people achieve a high level of performance. Well, let's talk about your, your director. So you're hiring in professional staff to, to help everybody in this production become great. Yep. Um, in fact, our director for Oklahoma is Bradley Baker, who is currently working on Lyric Opera's production of Oklahoma. Um, he's working with costumes and props. So um, he's going to bring something to the table that uh, will make this, I think, um, one of the best community theater productions of Oklahoma you've ever seen. Well, that's awesome. And, you know, I think it's neat that... Um it's community theater, and why is community theater so important for us? Well, um, because it transcends generations. Mm -hmm. As I alluded to before, by casting uh, age appropriate, you can get families involved. Um, I was part of a production of Into the Woods several years ago where we had um, a husband and wife and their two daughters as part of the show. In fact, um, uh, the wife played Cinderella's stepmother and the two daughters played the evil stepsisters. <laughs> and it was really fun to see that fine family dynamic take over in, in their parts. That's awesome. When um, we're, go we're thinking about Summer Place Theater and, and tickets, we have opportunity to buy them per show or we can buy a season pass? Yep, a season pass is available and we do sell individual tickets. I can't give you the prices right That's off okay. the top of my head. That's okay, they're very reasonable. You guys have always been reasonable. We've tried to be competitive, and in fact, we lowered um, prices by a couple of dollars this year. Well, that's, that's awful nice of you. It's a wonderful show. Uh, Summer Place Theater always presents great community theater and we thank you for stopping by and sharing a little bit about what the summer brings so remember it's summer place theater you've got three productions to choose from don't miss it we'll be right back with more business connections stay tuned